Welcome to the Fasting Podcast, Wow, Wellness and Optimal Weight. I'm your host, Julie Phillips, Certified Natural Health Professional, bringing you Episode 102, Powerful 3-Day Fast. First off, it's very important to speak of the contraindications that anyone with health challenges should check with their healthcare professional first before doing any fast, especially people on medications like blood sugar and blood pressure, driving their levels down, need to work with the doctor because their medication amount might need to change the very first day. People that are pregnant, nursing, young children, eating disorders, and very thin people, such as less than 5% body fat, are especially advised to check with their doctor and not consider any type of water fast. This is from the experts. It would be most valuable if you're going to do a powerful three-day fast to do the proper preparation. Might want to shorten the eating window of what we're eating and eat highly digestible, low-carb food prior to the fast. And you might want to do this for about a week or at least a few days to lessen the load on the system and give the water fast time to get rid of what you've consumed. If you want to, it's optional to use good healthy fats or exogenous ketones to help get fat adapted. Choose a time to do the three-day fast if you are interested in it when you're eating out and vacation time will not sidetrack you. So the time when you're mostly going to be alone but kept busy. Consider having a buddy that might want to do it with you or at least an accountability partner that will consult with you multiple times a day to help encourage you and get you through it. Plan for plentiful, pure water, not the little plastic bottle water, to flush the toxins and to get that feeling of fullness. And you need to get plenty of bowel movements flowing, even in the preparation stage, such as if you're eating two or three meals a day, I hope you're getting two or three large bowel movements per day. And it's really helpful if you can get rid out of the house temptations for you personally of food and drink that you find it hard to resist. Get your mind off of food. Get your metrics. For less than $30, you can get a body composition scale on Amazon where you can see where you stand with visceral fat, body fat percent, muscle percent before and after, and then ongoingly after that. Now here is a big key for how powerful the three-day fast can be. Decide if you personally only want to do a 72-hour fast, which, for example, could be noon Monday to noon Thursday, which means you get to eat on Monday and Thursday, and the only days you don't eat anything are Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, the 72-hour fast can be very powerful, but picture this other option you might want to consider. The full-day plan where, for example... On Monday night after dinner, maybe 8 p.m., you don't eat or drink any caloric intake again until you wake up Friday morning. That means you're not eating food at all on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in this example, which could give you, if you wake up around 8 o'clock and are wanting to eat, could give you about 84 hours instead of 72, so you're getting 12 extra hours of benefits. So now... One of the first big benefits is ketosis fat burning. This is highly desirable to burn toxin-laden fat, even if you're already thin, because toxins can lie in the arteries, around the cells, on the organs, the visceral fat. So it's really good to get into that ketosis fat burning for everyone. Now, if you choose to do a good job of preparing prior to the fast, like we suggested earlier, of the low-carb, lightweight eating, and possible fat adapting, that's great, and you may get more benefits significantly. But even if you don't, a serious amount of fat burning of the toxin-laden fat can occur even while you sleep. Insulin sensitivity may improve. Fat can be burned out of arteries, away from cells and vital organs, so it's possible that your blood pressure may really change. And people with, by the way, blood sugar and blood pressure challenges must constantly watch their levels during this and count on working with their doctor to advise them about if they're on a prescription medication because we don't want them to be over medicated and having their levels go dangerously low. Another big benefit past ketosis is youthful human growth hormone, HGH. 
it, the youthfulness of it is fabulous, but most adults don't have very many as we age. We're producing less and less of it typically, but when we're fasting, wow, women have been shown to increase in the first 24 hours completed human growth hormone 1300% and men 2000%. That's amazing. Simultaneously, the inflammatory hormone that we don't want, it's called IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor 1. That's inflammatory and it decreases, which is a good thing. Now, when our human growth hormone increases, it can help preserve muscle, preserve bone, even though we're not consuming protein, and it can promote fat burning. Isn't it great news that HGH and testosterone, even women have some testosterone, by the way, can continue up to two weeks after breaking a fast. Now, another third huge benefit is called autophagy. And this can kick in after the first 24 hours of the fast. I call it cleansing autophagy, and it's a brilliant survival mechanism we're blessed with. We're all born with this, and when there's no food to sustain us, the body can look for food internally. So autophagy, A-U-T-O-P-H-A-G-Y, in Greek literally means eat thyself. And amazingly and wonderfully, the body's focused on eliminating bad things. Tumors, cysts, abnormal cells, while simultaneously scavenging for useful nutrients like vitamins and peptide protein building blocks, etc. As quickly as 24 hours into the fast, autophagy can increase 300% and 30 more percent in the second 24 hours. That's amazing. And then it can keep going and even continue past the fast, aiding the body's repair. You are allowed to drink organic green tea with zero sweeteners or cream during the fast. And these organic green tea has something called ECGC, which can help increase the autophagy. So no organic sweeteners or cream, anything like that, but the organic green tea is allowed and can be helpful. Another gigantic benefit is rejuvenating stem cells. As you probably already know, stem cells can become whatever types of cells they need to be to help the body. So when we were conceived in mom's womb, stem cells could become liver cells, pancreas cells, etc. But as we age, the body enjoys much less stem cell activation. Some people look for stem cell donors, and the donor may or may not be a good match for them, but they may pay thousands of dollars for injections and wait while the donor's found, and even after the injection, like my relative, have side effects like going deaf. So why not activate our own internal stem cells? This can happen as quickly as 24 hours into the fast, and it can continue five or more days beyond the fast. And when we start eating again, and again, we always refeed after a fast slowly and gradually, refeeding with high quality nutrients such as protein, amino acid, peptides can help the body with the repair that's needed. So the stem cells with the good nutrients that are in the refeeding can help the process of healing continue. And this is the body healing itself. And it's not costing money for a stem cell, it's the body doing it itself. So rather than refeeding with meat when you get back in, out of the fast, what if you consider eating some organic plant-based protein powders or even tablets and organic greens powders perhaps mixed in so you've got almost no strain on the digestive system, but you've got phenomenal nutrients for the body to do that rebuilding process. So stem cell activation is just an amazing benefit, but there are more. Experts believe you can practically give your immune system a new lease on life as quickly as 72 hours of a water fast, but let's not spend a lot of that 72 hours burning off food and drink we consumed. Let's get right into a hardcore 72-hour fast. That's why I like the three full day option. Lack of sugar during the fast may help slow down abnormal cells. That was my scare when I got into natural health and they can gobble up sugar, which we're not consuming now. And yeast overgrowth candida is also something that people with the abnormal cell problem typically are said to have. 
that also thrives on the sugar or poorly digested carbs. So they're often found together, and this can help with the fast. The environment may be, when you're done, less conducive to parasites and undesirables after the fast. I used to teach parasitology in Florida. Weight loss might be easier after the fast, including appetite and cravings. Digestion and bowel movements, so important, might be a lot better after the fast. And if you're going to use optional tools that don't interfere but facilitate the fast, one good candidate would be an oxygenated, ozonated magnesium, a special magnesium to slowly clean the sludge off the intestinal wall together with a soluble fiber where now it can soak up the built up over the years toxins in the colon and help reproduce more cleansing and more weight loss. Also, the wow all natural homeopathic drops under the tongue are bypassing the digestive process going right into the bloodstream. These can produce phenomenal and amazing major extra health benefits as a result of their clinical study. And you can read and learn about that on our website at the end. And this can include all kinds of health benefits, even quick things that are helpful like the appetite cravings, the thyroid function, many different digestive detoxification, and long-lasting effects on things like blood sugar and blood pressure. Check out our website, www.jpwowprograms.com. Please refer others to our podcast and YouTube. And if you're on iTunes, give us a good written review. For questions and feedback, email me, julie at jpwowprograms.com. Remember, stay positive, focused, and determined, because where the mind goes, energy flows.